Okay, so we're going to go and try for some hogs tonight. We've got the uh, 308 with the ATN mounted on it. And a tripod. We have uh, the thermal imager on a pan and scan. That is Wi-Fi to the screen here, hopefully. Yep, so that's getting thermal at the moment on there. Sun's just going down, it's very quiet, it's still pretty warm here in Texas. Um, so we're going to have a little drive around, see what we can see. And uh, we've got the, the red lights on the front so we don't scare anything away. Okay, let's start it up and let's go. So we've got some deer right the way over there, as you can see. And then there's some deer evidently further over there. I see it. I see it. It's right there. Yeah. It's harder to see with the cops. Um, scan the... To there, to that one. There's another one there coming into view. I think the larger one there's a cow. Got the cow and the deer. Lovely sunset. As I wanted. So we've mounted the thermal on top of the forerunner. Uh, that way it'd be a lot more stable. It was uh, shaking all over the place on the cart. So we're going to give this a go. We're going to have a little drive around uh, and see what we can find this time. Okay, as you can see, we have a herd of cows in the road in front of us. Gonna roll down slowly so that we don't disturb them too much. They will let us go past them, but we are on a narrow easement at the moment so there isn't a lot of room just slowly follow them down here don't want to scare them too much Singing the feeder, or seen by the feeder, I would say, 
and um, we've given up driving around and the first thing to turn up is a couple of turkeys they're really big as well it's normally about 20 turkeys turn are turning up at the moment so I'm expecting to see a few more shortly but we'll see what's going on okay so we're going to uh, just have a little drive around um, no pigs so far we got driven out of the uh, oak tree by the uh, oak mites that are still there um, which was a bit disappointing for yesterday so we're gonna have a little drive around and uh, see if we can find anything else interesting if not we're just gonna have uh, a fun drive Sterling's about to put his helmet on so uh, let's go and have some fun okay let's start it up and go Quickly and down.
exploding? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I had. I think that's gonna explode any minute. Okay, let's see how good this slime is, because that is... Oh, I don't know if I pull it out. Oh, look how long that is! And uh, slime sealed it up immediately. Look at that. Okay. That's pretty amazing. Look at the... Th they don't mess about the thorns here. And that sealed it. Okay, well I'll go around the tyres and pull a few up, oh, like this, oh there you go, seals it immediately, okay, impressive. Okay, well, so we've, uh, we've had a, a fun weekend, um, didn't see any hogs. Uh, the uh, thermal on the top of the buggy wasn't uh, as stable as I thought it was. Not bad on the back of the on top of the forerunner, so uh, we'll probably be trying that more often. Uh, it's definitely good in when you're sitting in the blind. You can use it as a just a, a viewing, so you're not looking through the scope. Um, buggies run really well. That slime is amazing in the tyres. Um, I thought we were going to have a lot of problems. The thorns here are everywhere, especially on the uh, on the other property. Um, they're just everywhere. So we pulled about a dozen thorns out of the tyres and that, that slime sealed every hole up immediately. And I haven't had to put any air in them yet. So that's really, really good. Um, so I hope you've had fun with this. I have. We'll be back down here again. Um, weather's just starting to cool off again, so it'll be nicer. Also, the darker evenings uh, will mean we can get out with the thermal a bit more um, and the hogs will be coming in earlier so um, have fun and uh, catch you all later thanks a lot for coming bye